Hello Minecrafters, so Rob Fi here. As you know, I've been working on systems to try and farm mobs in the nether and we're going to want to find a stronghold and take advantage of the mobs you find there like the blazes. So my AMCATS was working to an extent for picking up pigmen but I wanted to kill them and I realized, okay, well, it's going to have to be suffocation. So, I figured I'd find a new spot, come to a stronghold. And uh, I started messing around over here. Uh, Etho made a little uh, trap for blazes based on using a spawner. And I've done a version of it with five spawning pads. I'm not sure if it's making much difference as to how many I'm getting, how quickly, but I figured I'd give it a try and see what happened. Um, Etho did a tutorial on this today you can have a look at. And what I decided to add in, I would have this as a collection base for loot. I'm gonna pick up loot off of these guys and incorporate my rail system. Mm -hmm. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I've got these different components like this. It separates empty carts from occupied carts. And the empty carts go off to a stack. The full carts get split mm -hmm. off and come into my little base here. And there's only a one high gap above the rail so the whole time they're riding around this circuit, they're being suffocated. Blazes and pigmen and that have, don't have the same amount of health. Uh, I think blazes have eight hearts, pigmen ten. So it varies. If you also take into account they may have suffered some fall damage or whatever before they get put in a cart. They could be running around this track and I tried to set it up so that when they get back around to the front, pretty close to the front, that's when they would die. So that I could get the loot from this stretch along here, which usually works out pretty good. Somewhere in about here that I get loot drops. And the nice thing about this is the cart just keeps on going as, as they die and suffocate because it's already got so much momentum and the loot drops off to the side or sometimes on the track so you kind of have to stay on top of the loot that's coming in um, the other thing that I changed again is a one high gap above the track to protect it from collisions from mobs just wandering onto the track or spawning on the track with this glass doesn't suffocate so not only can they not get onto the track, they can't spawn on the track, they can't interrupt my carts. Uh, if you're standing here, the cart will actually nudge you out of the way and keep going. And it seems to be okay. I mean, okay, we've got a cart stoppage here and I don't know why. If anybody's got any suggestions on this, if they've tried doing this kind of thing, you've got to come up with so many tweaks to get the timing right to be able to use a pressure plate or whatever to separate occupied from empty carts. This little twist in the rail here actually does affect the momentum and I had to put that in so that both empty and full carts would make it across this and it would split off properly. But anyway, that is as far as I've got so far. Oh, the other thing is, is that when the occupied carts, when the mob dies... Oh look, there's some meat right here. Pick that up. So the carts go up the top of this ramp and uh, they feed into a stack here. 
which has a trap door and drops straight down into the other stack below. And inside this little room I've got the regulator, little timing system. So, look at that, I'm filming, my system breaks down and now I'm going to have to figure out now why it stopped there. There's nothing on the track. Anyway, that's it for now. See you later.